Hey guys, what is going on? It is RC Knockout and I am back with another video. Now if you are new to my channel, my name is Nolan. In today's video I have got the cheapest Traxxas Stampede project out with me. My Traxxas Stampede two wheel drive and we are back at the park to jump this thing down the hillside. So let me pick up the camera. So the last time I was here, uh, everything was iced over and there's a bunch of snow on the road so my video did not go as planned. So in the end we just end up bashing down in the snow. But uh, all the snow is melted off the road and off the parking lot. So we should be able to gather some good speed off the parking lot and jump her down the hillside. Now, as you can see, we have still got a big snowbank piled up against the road. And I've actually got my ramps leaned up up there as well. So combined with that extra elevation from the uh, snowbank, we're going to get some pretty crazy air. So I'm looking forward to it. I kind of use my little shovel to build a little bit of a runway to smooth it out. So we'll be able to go up on the snowbank right there and then hopefully transition smoothly onto my ramps and jump her down the hillside. We are going to be running 3S LiPo, of course. I'm gonna be running this 5200 milliamp ADC discharge rate, three cell Huvo pack with the EC3 connector. If you haven't been following this whole build series, I'll give you a quick rundown of what's going on underneath the body. We are running a cheap brushless power system. This is from the brand Horizon. Well, the actual brand is Onyx RC, but the parent company, as you can see right here, is actually Horizon Hobby. It's a 70 amp ESC combined with a 4,000 kV brushless motor. Uh, I changed the gearing recently. I was running the high speed gearing, which I believe is a 2190. I swapped over to a 1483. So that'll give us a little bit, a little bit less speed, but the issue was this thing was, it wasn't overheating, but the battery was dying so quick. So I was hopeful that would help uh, give us a little bit more battery life. I uh, didn't notice any more battery life in the last video though. Uh, we're running these Proline Badland MX-28 tires mounted up on Traxxas Max wheels. Had to buy some cheap Amazon 17 millimeter wheel hex adapters to adapt the 12 millimeter hex over to 17. We're running the Hot Racing uh, Servo Saver because the uh, stock one broke almost immediately when I started jumping this thing. Got a cheap 25 kilogram Metal Gear Servo and uh, some cheap eBay dry shafts. Otherwise, I'm probably forgetting something, but uh, that's pretty much a quick rundown of everything going on so far. But if you want to see more, I'll leave a card in the corner for the whole cheapest uh, Traxxas Stampede playlist. Let me go ahead, get this three cell pack installed, and we'll get started ripping. Should be a heck of a lot of fun. Alrighty guys, got her all powered up. Time to rock and roll, here we go. First, we're gonna try to do some flybys on the pavement because I've yet to see you know how fast this thing is with the new gearing. Start her off with a little launch. As you can tell I did take the wheelie bar off mainly because when we're jumping down the hillside uh, I was running the drag slash, an aluminum drag slash uh, wheelie bar and it stuck out quite a bit so if I ever landed on it from these heights probably break something off the back end. So I took it off for now. But uh, here we go for a launch. Are you guys ready? Get set. Go! Ooh, she's squirrely. She's all over the place. All right, make sure it's clear. Let's bring her for a flyby. And on the throttle. I'm pinned. And I'm getting very, very close to going off the road. And we got a car coming. Let's bring her back in this way. Splash her in some water. We'll wait for this car to go by. I'll get on this side because I feel like I'm pointing in the sun. We'll rip her through the puddle a few times, then we're gonna hit my ramps. By the way, if you guys have been enjoying this whole project, go ahead, hit that like button. Also make sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you'll be notified whenever I do come out with new videos. This is a waterproof system, so no worries. Not great for the bearings though. I love running in the water. I can definitely say the Stampede is not a handling machine. Ooh, slip or slip it a little bit. Alrighty guys, here we go. Let's start jumping this thing. They're much better. 
That was a nice one. Give that a thumbs up. I got to put that one on slow mo real quick. Yeah, much better. Right, let's bring her back up. Okay, we're going to try to build up a little bit more speed this time. All right, right there and on the throttle. Wow! That was crazy air. Give that one a thumbs up. That was insane. Kind of landed it, but it bounced and then kind of went into a little bit of a tumble. All right, here we go again, hitting the ramp. We're going to try to build up as much speed as possible. And here we go. Landed it. That is impressive. That went very high. All right, bringing her back up. Here we go. Half, three quarters. Ooh. I'm, I'm surprised it landed that. I mean, it didn't land it, but it didn't break. All right, we're gonna go into another one. All right, and here we go. Ooh, and we lost throttle in the air. Let's go investigate what happened. We actually landed it though. That doesn't sound good, guys. Something gave. Or did a wire just come loose? Oh, hey, we might be in luck. Looks like maybe just our motor wire came undone. Let's get that uh, reconnected, maybe we can keep on going. Yeah, it looks like it was just the motor wire that came undone. So we are good. So this time, let's get back up there. I wanna go for a backflip. You guys saw the big air. How is it surviving this? I mean, the ground is kind of squishy right now because all of the uh, wetness in the ground, but Still, that is a very, very large drop. It's got to be 20 feet. At 15, 20 feet. And here we go, on the throttle. Oh, ouch. Ouch. I need to go find some other pins. We lost the pins. All right, look at this closer. It did actually break. So the rear one right here broke. Uh, the actual body mount did. So might have to look into replacing that. That's probably what actually caused the wire to pull out was when this broke. But uh, we'll get the body uh, put back on, go for a few more jumps. All right, body is on, at least temporarily. Well, you can see this is a, this is a no joke type of jump. It's a big jump. All right, right to about there. There, landed just a simple single. I'm surprised this battery hasn't died yet. We might be gaining some battery life. It was hard to tell last video because last video I was basically full throttle in the snow and we got probably 10 minutes or less of run time, but that might have just been because it was in the snow. So we might have gained a little bit because we've probably been going for 10 minutes. It's still running. So here we go. Oh, 
Ouch. Three quarter pin. Ooh. Ouch. Love playing in the water. And there, it finally killed our power. It just hit low voltage mode. So we probably gained a few minutes extra on battery life. Um, and the thing did amazingly well. Considering how high we were jumping it from, uh, nothing really broke except for that rear body mount. Uh, the body mounts is what really took the biggest toll that and the body itself took a lot of abuse landing on it but if you did enjoy this video go ahead hit that like button make sure to subscribe hit that bell and stay tuned for future videos later